Here's tonight's 9 at 9. A woman in Arlington, Texas, accidentally shot and killed by police. The officer was trying to make sure the woman was okay after she was spotted lying in some grass. That's when an unleashed dog began to run toward the officer. That officer fired multiple times. He hit the dog, but he also hit the woman. She later died at a hospital. The officer's body camera footage will be used in that investigation. The Kennedy family mourning the death of 22-year-old Searsha Kennedy Hill. Searsha was one of Robert F. Kennedy's granddaughters. Yesterday afternoon, police responded to a call for a possible drug overdose at the Kennedy compound. An autopsy report showed no signs of trauma, and investigators say the results of a toxicology report will help them determine the cause and manner of her death. Here at home, two men in custody after an alleged abduction attempt leads to a chase. This happened overnight near North Zarzamora and Calabra Road. Police say the men became upset when they say a cab driver attempted to lure two young girls into his car. They got into their SUV to look for that cab. They started chasing the first one they saw and began ramming the back bumper. That cab eventually turned into a nearby fire station and the men crashed their SUV into it, causing the cab to then crash into the station's garage door. No one was hurt. We don't know what charges might be filed in this case. Wisconsin police are trying to find the person responsible in what they believe to be a case of product tampering. A woman says she began losing clumps of hair while using conditioner she bought at a Walmart. And my hair like just started falling out in clumps on the floor. And it just like kept on like coming out and coming out and coming out. And I screamed. The woman went to the emergency room with a burning scalp where they diagnosed her with chemical burns. Investigators believe someone put hair removal cream in that conditioner. Police are now working with Walmart to find the suspect. Police in Conroe, Texas, investigating a bizarre crash. Officers found this scene early this morning, but they have not found the driver. The driver plowed through a wooden fence, causing the top rail of that fence to impale the truck. Some blood was spotted in the vehicle, but the driver was nowhere to be found. A Stone Oak area home that was up for sale goes up in flames this afternoon. I walked out front and it was just smoking really bad and there was flames coming up like all on the roof. It was pretty scary. No one was inside at the time. We still don't know what caused that fire. More than 6,000 people forced to evacuate a town in northern England due to a damaged reservoir threatening to collapse and submerge the area. The British military, environmental agencies, and firefighters from across the country are working to shore up the crumbling dam walls. Delta is making employees who know sign language easier to spot. They'll begin wearing sign language indicators on their uniforms in the fall. The goal is to make travel easier for everyone. Michigan police searching for three men who broke into a school and took a joy ride on a floor scrubber. The cleaning machine is typically used by the custodians. Police say the men caused more than $1,200 in property damage. To read more about these nine stories, go to ksat.com slash news at nine.